in Tel Aviv. Here's NBC's Kelly Kobiea. Chef, this is a crushing blow to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, but it is not quite over yet. This coalition government still needs to be approved by the Knesset, the Israeli parliament. A vote has to take place in the next 12 days by law. That's by the 14th of June, a Monday. If the Knesset, the Israeli parliament, does in fact approve this coalition government, Naftali Bennett will be sworn in as the new prime minister. He is a former ally of Benjamin Netanyahu's. He served as his defense minister, as his chief of staff at one point. He's considered very far right. He has a, a lot of support among the, the religious right. He's a former leader of a settlement movement and doesn't believe in a two-state solution. So what does it mean for the future of big issues here in the Middle East and in Israel? Well, these parties basically don't agree on any of those big issues. So things like Middle East peace, a long-term peace plan, will probably be on hold for the time being. The coalition more likely to f focus on domestic issues like the economy and the coronavirus. In a statement, uh, the head of the coalition saying the new government will do everything it can to unite every part of Israeli society. Shep. Kelly, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.